All right. <clears throat> Hello. My name's Gabriel Martin. I'm, uh, I'm 43 years old. I live in Oklahoma. I was, uh, I was born in Costa Rica. My mother is Costa Rican. My father's an American. I uh, grew up in the Midwest basically my whole life. Joined the military when I was 17. Uh, did the Navy for two years. I was on the Abraham Lincoln. Then I joined the Marine Corps for four years. I was at Camp Lejeune. Then I joined the Army and I did 16 years. And I was a drill sergeant on my combat tours. Uh, we're in the Army. My goal was to do uh, all four branches and uh, write a book or, you know, because everybody always does what uh, their grandfather did or what their father did or uh, kind of follows in their family's footsteps. Um, this isn't going to be easy for me. I'm, I'm not real, real big on sharing and even the thought of this is giving me freaking anxiety. I'm about to lose my mind. But anyway, <clears throat> um, so two really good friends of mine I grew up with. CJ and Brooke Davidson, they uh, sent me a link to Heroic Hearts Project. And uh, they know my issues a little bit with uh, PTSD and I'm medically retired. Uh, I didn't have any plans on getting out of the military. But uh, I was seen unfit due to my PTSD. So I got out at 22 years. I'm back home. I'm with my wife and my children here in Oklahoma. Uh, I'm in my wife's yoga room. Uh, this was our oldest son's bedroom. Then he joined the army. Got married to his high school sweetheart. They live in D.C. right now. And uh, he's an MP, just like I was. Um, but I decided I'm going to document this journey. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm struggling. I struggle daily with PTSD. I've been out four years. When I got out, I was at a Tupperware bin that was full of, uh, pill bottles. And, uh, needless to say, all I do now is medical marijuana. Uh, I feel better, but I definitely have my moments. Uh, I deal with a lot of depression and anxiety and I'm not one of those guys that, that that can't be around fireworks or guns or I'm pretty normal I think I, I try to function as well as I can I, I, I definitely have my vices and my moments but uh... anyway I wrote cards project uh, had two open spots for veterans and I submitted uh, my friend sent me the link. I submitted my stuff. Um, Jesse Gould emailed me. I said if he could do a phone interview and talk to me. Talked about where I am, what I'm doing, what I'm looking for. Uh, we hit it off and he offered me one of the spots. I talked to my wife. And uh, February 17th to March 2nd, I'm going to Peru. I'm going to do the ayahuasca. <clears throat> and try to uh, become a better version of myself. I'm, I'm very open to psychedelics. I've never done anything. I've never done mushrooms, acid, LSD, peyote. I've never done anything. I devoted my life to the military. I got out, I smoked some weed, um, drank. Uh, but never anything with psychedelics. And I was raised Christian. Uh, I believe in God. I pray, pray a lot. Our family prays. We pray before meals. We pray before bed. Um, like I said, my wife's a yoga instructor. She's into meditation and she's doing Reiki. And she has a Reiki table right here and all her yoga stuff and her books and her rocks and stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I think it all started with a podcast. We were watching Joe Rogan. And uh, Mike Tyson, and they were talking about people that had done the ayahuasca or DMT, and I'm open. I mean, I, I really am. I'm open. I'm ready to, you know, re release this thing that's grabbed a hold of me, and 
it's weird to see myself on this camera, but I'm ready to I'm ready to become a better version of myself. I'm going to Arcana Spiritual Center in Peru. The reason I started documenting today is because today is February 4th, 2019, and I start my diet today. I'm a meat eater, I'm a beer drinker, I chew tobacco, smoke weed, I ride a Harley. I have a lot of tattoos. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Take off my have a really nice day shirt. But uh, I have a lot. And uh, I need to find a new way to cope with the things in my life. But starting today, I can have no sex, no sugar, no salt, uh, no kind of drugs, no red meat. I can have fish, I can have chicken. Uh, but I mean, I drink Mountain Dew for breakfast. I wake up, that's my coffee. Uh, I like my, my tea sweet. We're in Oklahoma, so I like lemon and a lot of sugar in my tea. I like a lot of creamer and a lot of sugar in my coffee. Um, but my wife and, uh, her best friend, Shauna, and our youngest, JT, he, uh, has decided that he wants to keep a log and he wants to do it too in support of me. Uh, so this is just kind of my first day. I'm just introducing myself. I've never done anything on YouTube before. Uh, not really my thing. But I'm I'm going out on a on a limb and I'm if if this maybe by the end of all this if this could help somebody else and maybe help another veteran or some any, anybody that's seeking enlightenment or you know I. Everything's just falling into place. It's crazy. Nothing ever falls into place for me. And, uh, you know, my wife and I watched some videos. We were talking about DMT and PTSD. My buddy sends me a link. I apply. Two days later, two spots just miraculously open. The next day, he calls me. He offers me one of the spots if, if we can do it financially. Um, the finances are there. We do it. And now the wheels are turning. I mean, today's the first day of my diet. And... Everyone that knows me and loves me is supporting me, and there's only a handful of people that even know that, you know, this is happening, the people that are closest to me, and, uh, I'm gonna figure out how to make a YouTube video and how to put it on here, and I'm gonna document this thing the whole way, um, I'm gonna use my phone and my iPad, and if someone will film it or allow it to be filmed, then I'll do it. And even the diet. I mean, I don't leave until the 17th. Today's the 4th. So I'm doing this first. and With the best intentions. And I'm definitely not perfect. But thanks for watching this. And uh, if you have any questions or want to know anything about me or Initially, when, whenever I joined, I said, you know what, I'm going to do all the branches because there's nothing out there for kids that, that want to join the military. My daughter is a senior this year, and uh, she promised she's in the debt program. She's going to the Navy. She's going to be a hospital corpsman. And uh, my youngest wants to be a pilot. Like I said, my oldest is already in the Army, and his wife thinks about doing the reserves, and she's a school teacher. And I'm just blessed to be around good, positive people and patriots and people that love this country and love each other and believe in God. And we're all just trying to find our way. You know, I tell my kids all the time, they didn't come with instruction manuals. You know, talk to me. What's going on? You be honest with me. I'm honest with you. I won't sugarcoat it. We'll just figure it out. Figure it out together. Uh, so, yeah, if you got any questions for me, ask and I'll answer. It's nice to meet you all.